Wait, what? That shouldn't be happening. Not when he just asked for my number. My stomach flips and not in a good way. Tilla looks at me as she grinds herself harder on Drew's lap. I can read her eyes. I win, they're saying. Drew groans. I leave the room before I gag. Forget Drew. My illusion of him is officially shattered. Suddenly, I feel very out of place. Why am I even here? I'm not like these people. These are Drew's people. Tilla's people. Trevor's people. Oh, I'm humiliated. I head outside and take a deep breath of fresh air. I think of calling a cab, then remember I don't have my phone. But I notice a few guys by Trevor's car. Trevor is one of them. I walk up and tap him on the shoulder. I'd like to go home, please. Trevor reads my mood instantly and turns to his friends. I'll catch you guys later. The other guys I meet curiously before walking away. They're probably wondering what Trevor is doing with someone like me. Probably, like me, wondering what I'm even doing here. If you don't want to leave, I can call a cab. I just need my phone. Trevor opens the passenger door for me. Nah, I'm ready to go. The car is silent as we pull onto the main road. This has probably been the most embarrassing night of my life. Anger bubbles in my gut. Your advice didn't work, you know. I quickly explain what happened with Drew and Tilla. I expect shock, but Trevor just shrugs. Doesn't surprise me. It's for the best. You and Drew would have never worked out. My anger rises to the surface. And why is that, Trevor? Is he too hot for me? Too popular? Was it obvious I was just a nerd in a stolen crop top? No to all three of those things. But here are my three. One, he's a douche. Two, you're not. Three, you guys have zero chemistry. That kiss between you was a hot mess. It seriously made me uncomfortable to watch. I had to stop myself from pulling him away from you. I gasp in shock at his words. He looks over at me quickly before facing the road again. You're easy to read, Martha. You weren't into it. I was into it, I almost respond. But I stop myself because underneath my anger and humiliation, something new emerges. The truth. And the truth is that I wasn't into that kiss. Ugh, the truth can be bitter. I look out the window, not wanting to meet Trevor's gaze. Look, I'm sorry if you're disappointed, but I'm right, aren't I? You weren't into it, were you? I sigh, rubbing my hands over my face. No, I wasn't. I'm a bit disturbed he's able to read me so easily. But I guess I've never been good at hiding my emotions. I glance over at him. His face is unreadable once again. I turn in my seat to face him. How do you do it? Do what? Hide what you're thinking all the time? I suck at it. Yeah, I've noticed. Trevor, I'm serious. What's your secret, Mr. Unreadable? His lips thin. There is no secret. It's just who I am. And trust me, Martha. I'd much rather be like you. The car is now silent, but it's filled with something else. Tension? Awkwardness? He parks and we both walk toward the dorms. I decide I should at least thank him. I know tonight didn't go as planned, but I want to thank you. No need. A favor for a favor. He reaches into his pocket and hands me my phone. Our fingers brush against each other. Tingles spread up my arm. I'm flustered. I say stupid things when I'm flustered. Well, hey, at least I got something out of it. He tilts his head to the side inquisitively. A first kiss, even if it was pretty terrible. His eyes pop open in shock. I hear music screeching to a stop in my head again. Why did I just admit that? Flee, flee! Um, I I'll see you around. Good night, Trevor. I walk quickly into the building. I look back once. He hasn't moved. I'm cringing, literally cringing. I just told a boy with a one-night stand reputation that I'd never been kissed. I reach my door and put the key in. I think about throwing out my granny panties. Suddenly, Trevor is at the door. 
He grabs my arm and spins me around. That wasn't a first kiss. He slides one hand over my lower back. The other slides up into my hair. His face is still unreadable. But there's a spark of something in his eyes. Determination. Then his lips are on mine. It feels like... It feels like... I smile against his mouth. I know what it is I felt in the car now. What it is I felt between us. Not tension. Not awkwardness. But... Chemistry.